What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and one of you asked me a very good question actually and um, says like you know how some governments and some ISPs in certain countries block certain contents, block certain websites and the question was can the government or can the ISP for a given country block a given YouTube video? not the entire youtube one video let's say one someone made a video criticizing the government or criticizing their leadership or something like that and uh, the video they they don't want this video to go viral and they want to stop that video right can the isp block that particular video not the whole site just that video and the answer is it depends mostly no so let's explain and uh, what are the situations that an ISP and government can actually uh, block these sites? So, how about actually explain a little bit, guys? What does your ISP or your government? Let's let's talk about it. When I say ISP, if the, if the ISP is in the government's pocket, then I'm talking about the ISP, obviously, right? What does your ISP actually sees when you go to Google.com? The answer is normal situation absolutely nothing right if you search something some content yeah the internet is provided by the isp but the isp cannot see anything you're searching for the only thing they look and they can see and that is about to change by the way in the coming few years i believe is the domain they know you're going to google.com they know you're going to yahoo.com, right? They, you, they know you're going to, I don't know, any website. They know this. It's very clear. That's because the DNS queries are unencrypted and they are basically using the UDP protocol and it's an unencrypted. This is about to change with DOH and DOT. And that's pretty much it. They cannot see anything else, right? Now, and, and why is that? Why cannot they see what you're searching for? And the reason is because you are, and most of the time if you're using HTTPS, which is pretty much almost the, all the internet except a few websites, right? They're running still marquee uh, HTML elements, right? They're running in HTTP. But, yeah, if you're unencrypted, that means you have a TLS connection in I say end to end, that means between you and the server, and there is a, no, it's just, it's an encrypted traffic. So you as a client, the browser and the server, Google in this case, they have, you negotiate keys between you and you verify that Google, that the site you connected to is belong to Google and there is a nice certificate uh, because of that, is there a certificate of that? We talked about certificate authority, check that video here. So that's, yeah, it's encrypted. So they cannot see any content that you're actually searching for. They cannot see which YouTube videos you're viewing. They cannot see which, uh, uh, what you're searching in YouTube. They can only see that you're going to YouTube, they're going to Google, they're going to Yahoo. Now, can they actually block a certain video? They have the video URL and they wanna block that. No, they cannot do that out of the box. And I'm gonna explain there are certain situations where they can actually do that, right? But out of the box, they cannot because that URL, that extra information after youtube.com slash v, right? Anything after that is part of the content that you're requesting. And, and this is basically the URL query parameters, right? And that is also encrypted it's encrypted. So they cannot look and check and block the site if that is. They can only block the whole YouTube. They can only block the whole Google, but they cannot block a certain video or a certain blog article or a single a certain content. They cannot do that. Now, there are some governments that deploy a proxy an HTTPS proxy that in order to get your internet, you have to fix that proxy on your 
mobile phone settings or on your computer setting and what that's what that does is any request that you are about to make is goes through that proxy first and it negotiate the TLS between you and the proxy and it decrypts the traffic and it makes the request on your behalf because that's what a proxy is right and that it requests the content for you and in that case absolutely they can see everything you have and they can obviously block you from going to any website you want and they can block certain youtube videos so if you see some if you see that the government or any the isp forcing you to put a proxy i mean some workplaces actually do that right if you if you're an, and you, if your employees right if you're uh, if you're working if you're an employee for a given workplace sometimes they force you to put a proxy in order to basically give you access to the local content and the government and and, and, the, and the workplace sorry and uh, they can block and they can see everything you do in, in the employees right in the, in, in the employee network so the same thing is similar right so how do you know if you are being monitored by your ISP Kazakhstan government is trying to do something like that right and I and I talked about that many times in this channel and what they are trying to do is they want to deploy a, an HTTPS terminating proxy which basically makes all the requests to that proxy and then that the, the proxy makes the request on your behalf and how do you find out that you're being kind of man in the middle almost here in this case right you can find out very easily by going to your browser and there is a padlock so yeah the site is secure right if you click on that padlock you're going to Google or YouTube usually you're gonna see Mountain View whatever google.com initiated by and they say you're gonna see the root certificate for Google whatever that is right but if you're if you're being uh, if you have if you're being in the middle of an HTTPS proxy that proxy is responsible of serving you the certificate of its own claiming to be google.com right and that's what they do they say okay oh well, you're going to google.com i'm gonna give you a certificate as if i am google.com impersonating google and you can very clearly see for example in kazakhstan the https proxy they they clearly say oh qsnet whatever that thing is right and then you can see it oh if, if you have that that means oh someone is snooping on your content right so yeah obviously guys this is all moot if you're accessing a website through http right and uh any uh, the isp can look at your content they can see all that stuff as well right so i'm gonna talk about uh, i talked about doh a little bit the uh, dns over http and dns over tls a little bit and i talked about these things and even with those right that's the final point before we end the video even with doh and dot which even encrypts the domain so the your isp poor poor thing they cannot even see what domains you're accessing right even with that there is some um uh, some some isps have tricks up their sleeves they deploy certain low level layer 4 proxies that actually inspect the client hello of tls uh, tls client hello and they look at the sni the server name and uh, indication uh tsp and tsp tls extension which actually requests the host name what which host or which dns you're about to um connect to to serve the CRF. and that's another way and that's unencrypted so people some some isps use that to actually block certain um tls communication right again they can look at that even with doa some people uh what's his name i forgot his name what's his name nick sullivan from cloud uh, flare and what's his name the other people as well from apple previously for apple and uh, uh fab companies from fastly they're working on a new tls extension called encrypted sni esni which will encrypt that thing so people will not if isp will not even see that uh, that you're requesting dns um uh, certain dns but even that guys right that's that's not always a good idea if you think about it because like, assume some shady person impersonated bank of america right so they built a fishing website that calls bank of, 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 of america right with devil f for example and it looks exactly the same 
And your ISPs, you want your ISP to block that thing, right? You want it because otherwise you, you'll get into trouble, right? Sometimes you, actually it's good to have your ISP look at DMs, but that's my opinion. Okay, obviously, guys, I think it's it's all it's our right, right, to have this sort of privacy. So like, I don't want uh, my ISP to know or my government to know which websites I understand. I to like, I absolutely understand. Use a VPN. I mean, don't use a VPN. <sighs> VPN will act. You're just transferring who that knowledge from the, your ISP to the VPN company. So the VPN company claim they don't log, but who knows, right? You cannot guarantee that. But same thing, guys, right? So use Tor. Some people use VPN and Tor for extreme privacy. But even, I don't get I talked about Tor, guys. Check out the video here. But yeah, if, you, if you're if really concerned about privacy, use these kind of layered approaches for, uh, for uh, extreme privacy. But to answer that question, I could have answered it in one minute, I guess, but I took like 11 to answer it. But yeah, so no, they cannot block a certain YouTube video, but they can block the whole site, right? Unless they have an HTTPS proxy, which actually terminated the whole dang, dang thing, which will actually they look at the content and they can block any website and any blog, right? Anyway, guys, so that's it for me today. Uh, practically say hi. Okay, see you in the next one, guys. You guys stay awesome.